Um, hi, I'm Cleo. I'm from Lincoln Southwest. I'm a senior. And this is um, called Tan Line on My Finger. <clears throat> There's a poem in my head that's waiting to be written. It's swirling around like a whirlpool inside me, drowning me with the weight of the words. And I can't breathe. Sometimes I can't breathe without you. I know I should probably write the poem already because poetry has always been there for me, wrapping me in her warm arms when no one else could. Using the words to, in a way, explain something to myself in hopes of gaining a better understanding. But this is a poem I do not want to write. I don't want to process and accept what happened. Maybe that's selfish of me. This is a poem I didn't think I would have to write. I never wanted it to end. I didn't plan on it ending, nor was I prepared for the way it did. Your words coming out of nowhere hit me like a baseball bat to my stomach. I wish I could write a poem about what it feels like to hold your hand or what it feels like to watch a sunrise with you or come, with, come up with ridiculous metaphors to describe how both my stomach and my heart do cartwheels when you kiss me. I can't write that poem now. So instead of writing a poem about you, I'll write this to the newly exposed tan line on my finger, to the homecoming ticket still crumpled at the bottom of my backpack, the hundreds and hundreds of pictures saved locking even the smallest moments smallest of moments in place like an ice age, every blissful moment frozen for an eternity. This is to the letters you wrote me and my corsage from prom collecting dust under my bed, a sweatshirt you probably forgot that I have, the handmade Christmas gift you gave me last year. All these things are physical reminders of what we had that I can't seem to make myself get rid of. I'm sorry to all of you innocent, beautiful, magical memories. This isn't your fault. Don't let the bitterness of heartbreak ruin your integrity. Thank you.